So which camera gives you the most stable image for vlogging, B-roll, and action? I'll compare three common cameras. The Insta360 X3, what we all commonly have in our pockets, the iPhone, and a $3,500 mirrorless camera. And the results may surprise you. Let's dive in. Okay, so which camera gives you the most stable image? If you're not interested in watching the entire video and all the tests, I highly recommend you do though. I think it was fun. But if you're just looking for an answer, I felt that the iPhone was really impressive, especially with action mode. The Insta360 also did a great job and really gave you interesting shots with that 360 mode. Some of you may be wondering why the Sony a7S III did so poorly. You gotta remember, the Sony a7S III is not a dedicated action camera. It's a storytelling camera. And although it has IBIS, the IBIS is very limited. I mean, just think about it. How much room does it actually have in the body to compensate for all the jitters? Not very much. After all, it's not a gimbal. But the image quality on the Sony a7S III is damn near cinema quality. And you're getting ridiculous dynamic range for such a small body. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys, and I hope you enjoy the video. So let's get started. Okay, right now we're vlogging with the iPhone. Nothing special, regular video mode. I don't have the active track or sports track or whatever it's called. This is what it looks like vlogging with the iPhone. Here we go, we're gonna run. Okay, here's the same thing. Now we're still vlogging with the iPhone, but we're using the active track or sports track or whatever. And we're going to run. I keep calling it sports track, but it's actually action mode. Action mode looks really, really good. Now the resolution does go down, but still for what it is, for an object that's on you at all times, that's in your pocket, it's amazing. Okay, now we're using the Insta360. Nothing special here onboard mic we're in 360 mode and then you can use me mode and then there's like super wide and foe or fov plus or whatever there's things you can do so right now we're using the 360 mode and we're vlogging with the internal mic let's jog a little bit so i was lying that was not the 360 mode that was actually the innermost camera mode. So that was 4K, 30 frames per second. So now let's do the 360. Okay, now we are in 360 mode. This is highest resolution with 5.7K or whatever, but it's stitched, so it ends up being 1080p if I'm not mistaken. So this is 360 mode. And let's check out the stabilization run. Okay, I'm gonna redo the innermost camera back in 4K. And this is just regular old 4K mode. There's no added stabilization or anything like that. It's just vlogging with the Insta360. All right, let's 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 take a little jog now. So the Insta360 is known for having good stabilization. I don't know, I mean, the iPhone was pretty impressive, so can't wait to check it out. Okay, now here's where the fun happens. This is Mi Mode. Mi Mode is known for being crazy, crazy cool. So, we are vlogging in Mi Mode. Let's try running. Okay, and finally we are using FOV+, Plus, which basically adds more stabilization and it locks in the horizon. So you get a horizontal lock and more stabilization. And now we're gonna run. FOV+, Plus is actually pretty good really reminded me of the iPhone stabilization when we use the action mode. 
But yeah, FOV is a lot better than the regular ones. The only downside to using FOV Plus is that it's 2.7K, but you can slow things down. I think you can go up to 60 frames per second. So if you're vlogging, FOV Plus seems like it's the way to go. Okay, now for the big guns, or at least what I consider the big guns. This is the Sony a7S III. This is a $3,500 plus camera. We include the lens, and I'm using the 24 to 105, which also has stabilization. It's a lot of money. So I expect this to do very well. The Sony a7S III has in-body stabilization, or IBIS, and like I said, the lens is also stabilized. So the Sony a7S III has two types of stabilization. You have the standard and you have active. The standard gives you the full frame image and active punches in or crops in just a little bit. So right now we are in the standard. This is what it looks like vlogging with the Sony a7S III with the standard stabilization. And now here we go, run it. It's really hot today, I'm starting to get winded, but you can see that standard bounces around a lot. Okay, now we switched over to active stabilization. So this is active with the punched in, the cropping. That's what it looks like vlogging, that's what it looks like running. Now, so far we've done everything with the lens stabilization. So let's turn that off and let's see if that makes a big difference with the active stabilization because that's supposed to be the best stabilization. So this is us vlogging and this is us running. So I definitely feel like the lens paired with the in-body stabilization really makes a difference. So now for my final act, let's do some B-roll. 